end with me. Um, do you need more stuff for the launch or anything? You've been avoiding me. What are you doing? What do you think? Right. Sorry. Um, you seem like a really nice girl and everything, but um, nothing's going to happen between us. What are you talking about? I'm a married man. Well, that never stopped you before. Well, uh, whatever happened before, things are different now. I'm different. I can't leave my wife here. <laughs> Who said anything about you leaving your wife? Look, whatever we had, it's over. I'm sorry. <laughs> Had your fun, is it? Time for an upgrade. It's not that, it's just... I'm in love with my wife, that's all. I'm sorry. I, I'm really... You're pathetic. A sad, middle-aged, no-talent writer. Thanks for the work experience. What? The UN announced the lifting of a moratorium on human cloning today, following the announcement of the birth of the world's first successful human clone to an unnamed American couple in San Francisco on Tuesday. The Security Council was advised to reverse its previous stance on the controversial issue after experts supported by the American Christian right predicted that the current crisis in fertility in the West would reach epidemic proportions over the coming decade, potentially passing a point of no return. The universe is composed of infinite planes of the random. Patterns made up of billions of subatomic particles split and re-split. Now, Einstein's special theory of relativity tells me, do you know who Einstein is? Of course. It tells us that time and space are not constant. That, depending upon the point of view of the observer, an event is only one set of possible outcomes. Now, this could create an infinite set of parallel worlds, each one fragmented from the last, each one sending history down an entirely di Have you listened to a word I've just said? Yeah, infinite fragments. You could at least pretend to be interested. Colin, what's going on between you and Jerry? What? I saw the two of you, I'm not stupid. What are you talking about? Well, we both know it won't be the first time. There's nothing going on between me and Jerry. I've come for you in the past. You know I have. There's nothing going on. And even if there was, there isn't any more. I won't stand by and watch Ottilie get hurt again. What is it with you anyway? Maybe if you had more of a life of your own, you wouldn't be so obsessed with mine. Come on, let's get some lunch. Maybe another time. I'm serious, Colin. I've been a different man since we got our faith healer. Nadine's worried about him taking on all of our negative energy. She thinks maybe we're depleting him too much. I told her, darling, you've got to understand, he's not taking on our negative energy, he's simply channeling it. Well, I'll, I'll look into it. Anyway, let me be straight with you, Colin. Your latest book, The Epilid... Uh, what is it? The Epilid Invert. Oh, whatever. The title's got to go, but the story... I loved it. If it does anything like the business of Harvest, look, we're prepared to make you a very generous offer. Uh, f f for what? The film rights, Colin. Wake up. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry about earlier. You're right, mate. It's none of my business. 
So what happened, Martin? I mean, where did it go wrong? Have you done it by now, mate? No, I mean, you're my best friend. I just wanted to hear your take on it. I don't know. When we met Ottilie, when you met Ottilie, you were so different then. All that science stuff, particles and atoms and dark matter. She brought you out of yourself, opened your eyes. Then was her idea that you become a writer. Not a physicist. <laughs> Not a physicist, no. She introduced you to JK. She persuaded him to publish your first novel. Then your books started flying off the shelves and everyone wanted a PCR and... Thanks, mate. For what? I don't know, being a friend. Standing by me all these years. I'm beginning to think you really have been replaced by aliens. Who said anything about aliens? <laughs> Collins, Martin, JK. Possibly tells me you started your new book. Something about parallel universes. Oh, it's just a few ideas, nothing substantial. Well, give your long suffering publisher a head start, can't you? It's the story of a man trapped in a parallel world, inhabiting someone else's life. His dilemma is no one believes him, and he has no idea how to get home. Or even if he really wants to. Sounds intriguing. How does it end? I don't know yet. Tragically, I expect. These things usually do. Drinks, anyone? Yeah, go on. You two getting on well. You seem surprised. Well, I'll be honest with you, Colin. You've been a good money spinner for me, I'll not deny that, but... I've always thought you were wrong for my granddaughter. Look after her, Colin. You won't find another like her. Sneak away, you know, no one would notice. Ottilie, I'm sorry. For what? Everything. The way I've treated you. You deserve better. Are you drunk? Something happened to me a few weeks ago. A moment of clarity. I'll never take you for granted again. <laughs> 